I want to talk about the hidden power of uh, repetition in learning math. Now, it isn't any mystery for anyone who's learned anywhere from uh, elementary to complex mathematics that repetition doing problems is, is part of the process. This is, this is no news to anyone. However, there's a hidden power on repetition, especially in uh, 2013 and beyond, that's very important to consider. Consider our day of living in 2013 and many, uh, many parts of the world that are uh, technologically advanced. One thing that is a certainty, and that is that there is a, a sensory overload. There are constant distractions from smartphones, uh, iPads, iPods, and a myriad of electronic devices. It is this atomization of thinking that is very counterproductive to a student wishing to excel in math because every few seconds there's time to respond to a text, go to an app, um, check this, this out on Facebook, do this, do that. Ultimately, uh, th this creates a, a constant state of distraction. It's very hard to, to learn when distracted. Think about what a magnifying glass does. A magnifying glass take sunbeams, which normally can warm us up. Possibly if we stay in intense summer sun too long, we might even get a sunburn. But the fact of the matter is that those same sunbeams, sun rays, put through a magnifying glass, burn a sheet and hold, burn a hole in a sheet of paper. Imagine that. With that same mag magnifying glass, you're burning a hole in a sheet of paper. And that's the power of concentration. So when a student clears their mind and they sit down and they do 5, 10, 15, 20, 50, even 100 math problems, the intensity that they can bring to the mind, the intensity that can bring to the analytical reasoning faculty of the student is just outstanding. And it's not something we're likely to get anywhere else. In fact, I'll, I'll take it to an even different level. If, if a student is assigned uh, five problems on basic functions, instead of doing five problems, they should do 50. And in doing 50, by the time they've gotten to that 50th problem, it has become habitual. That is, that is the hidden power, the power of constructive habit. If, if they repeat and do this with trigonometric functions, Pythagorean theorem, whatever it is that, that they need to master mathematically, by doing enough problems, they're not only building diligence, they're building habit. And this concentration that they're building up starts to allow them to take their uh, mathematical abilities to the next level, being able to think outside the box because certain patterns start to emerge that you don't notice if you only do two, five, even ten problems. And, and as these patterns start to emerge, things can combine into a mathematical way of thinking, taking things to a higher order level. There's hidden power in repetition. Yes, initially it does appear to be drudgery. And there is a certain amount of drudgery in it. In it. There is no getting away from that. But there is hidden power in that. Building those powers of concentration, upturning the constant sources of distraction that come from the multiplicity, the multitude of electronic media that are out there. This is powerful. This is very powerful. And only through enhancing the power of concentration, not by some you know, mystical staring at a candle, but by focusing on the work at hand. Truth is simple. I hope that, that you found this helpful to help you along in your math. And I look forward to answering any questions that you have. 
You can contact me at Daryl Hald at AffordableTutor.com, TutorPro88 at gmail.com.